Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we're gonna start with the Dixie on the weekly time frame today without me in the corner of the screen because I'm having a bad hair day <laughs> oh, I'm kidding guys the camera is broken that's all so uh, yeah, the weekly uh, on the Dixie, um, last week we end up with a uh, spinning top candle, um, still uh, a close near the highs, but um, yeah, as we've been talking uh, earlier uh, in my previous overviews, 92 gonna be an important level, yeah, so uh, we were expecting a little bit of a trouble, we were expecting the dollar to test this level, to see then if we're gonna see a continuation to the downside. So if we go down to the daily, we see that uh, the price spiked above that uh, 92 area to then end up with a bearish engulfing candle and a little bit of a correction to the downside back toward the 38.2. And the next major level down is a 618 level. And that is the level that means something because here we have um, an, an important structure on the dollar so if next week continue lower i will really be um, uh, keeping my eyes on this 618 previous structure also monthly pivot point at that same level uh, to see what will happen now uh, friday we had a break to the upside above this um, uh, correction channel and uh, I was telling my um, student in our trading room to look for a retest if this hold to then look for continuation. We had one candle to then uh, see the price fail to hold above it. So the price is back inside. But as you see, it is also a good level here uh, that got retested. So uh, for now, uh, it is a little bit tricky. We will keep an eye if this is going to hold. If they skip to hold uh, at this area, we might see now a little bit of a continuation after this first impulse, potential correction, and then maybe continuation. If that start to happen next week, I'm expecting more further upside, at least a retest of the top. But a failure here that could signal a continuation down to 618 before maybe the next bounce to the upside. Um, gold, um, checking the daily time frame, we saw that. Um, after the the market reached this uh, monthly s1 we never tagged these previous low was which was uh, something i want to see and um, the uh, monthly s1 uh, did act as a nice uh, support with a strong bullish engulfing candle and a little bit of a further upside here but all in all uh, after this uh, wedge also got uh, broken here a nice ending wedge got broken retested there was a potential continuation and it failed to break above this area now this area failed twice and it's gonna be short term important area for gold keep in mind that you have one leg here correction and now potential continuation but as far as there is no break above these previous highs i will keep see this as a potential resistance and maybe downside here but if they manage to break above then we will look for a retest and then continuation toward monthly pivot point which is more uh, of an important level looking left this area here gonna be a pretty nice area to watch because on the daily uh, it is a clear broken structure that did not got retested on the daily yet so if that would be the case then we might see continuation down from that area instead so uh, there is two scenarios for you uh, next week uh, to watch on gold uh, the first one potential reversal from this level the second one if they break look for continuation up toward that monthly pivot point oil so uh, weekly time frame we end up with a spinning top as well we're still uh, trading around this uh, key area here where where i was expecting oil to slow down or to give us a reversal so i'm interested to check for short scenarios now with this um, nice bearish engulfing uh, sorry bearish divergence on the rsi 
Um, still not the strongest signal here to short this market. We had this nice uh, impulse to the downside, then we had a retest and then the market uh, start to slow down. So we will keep an eye at this area as a potential resistance uh, trouble here once two, three, four times it failed. We do have a bearish divergence on the one hour. So uh, my expectation, if this skip failed to break higher and we see a break below uh, the lows here, I'm looking for a continuation back down. So we may end up ranging inside this range at least a short while here on oil. So um, I'm interested in mostly to look for short scenarios at the moment, especially below 65. Um, Euro USD, so um, the Euro been a um, uh, bearish market um, shortly. So as you see, after this correction got broken, we've got a little bit of a bounce just ahead of the 200 moving average. So this market is also a little bit tricky uh, because uh, the big question here, will this market continue to trade lower or was this only a correction of this leg? So you have this correction now and then continuation. Uh, what's important for next week is to keep an eye on this whole area here. This area been acting as nice resistance. Now might start acting as support. And um, checking the four hour, there is a lot of the momentum for the bears, as you see. Pretty extended legs, uh, especially this leg here, um, extended to the downside. Um, we were looking to see if this correction win will um, end and we start see continuation to the downside. There was a break below the trend line, but then the market found this uh, support level once again. So I will keep an eye on this low down here. If broken next week, I'm looking for further continuation to the downside. And if they manage to break above this high, that would signal potential continuation up maybe to retest this uh, previous high at the top at around monthly pivot point. So those are the levels I'm watching for EURUSD. Sterling sideways, um, still a couple of weeks of uh, consolidation here after the, the the reversal from the top if we check the, the weekly we we had this um, very strong shooting star formation here with uh, another red week after that and then if we go down to the daily we see that we had this move correction continuation and now as far as there is no break above this previous high we might still see this continuation down toward this area on the sterling but if we go lower to the four hour time frame, we see that uh, we still have like uh, higher lows now. So um, we have this impulse, a higher low, a higher high impulse uh, correction and then uh, potentially continuation. So I will keep an eye on this top here. As far as there is no break above it, we might see continuation to the downside or if they break below this little trend line, then we look for further downside toward 1.37400 uh, area, which is a key structure for now on uh, this market. USD Jappy also uh, been um, a nice bullish market testing the 200 moving average on the weekly. And as you know, I told you last week, there is not much on the way for this market looking left until 109.80 uh, get touched, touched, which is this previous high here. So uh, on the weekly time frame, still um, we we still looking at a strong uh, market, uh, but the RSI is at the extremes. Checking the daily, we had this little bit of a correction and then back up. So uh, this previous high gonna be very important now to see if it's gonna break it or not. I was looking for a deeper correction. Uh, to have a chance to go long because I do not like to trade um, at these levels. But uh, the market kept pushing uh, once again to the upside. So I will keep seeing this as a potential trouble area for next week. We will see what will happen if that got tested next week again. And um, if they fail to break above it, something like this and failure again, maybe we should look for a correction back to the bottom of the range. So this is the range that we should work with for next week until we have some kind of uh, a break of it to the downside or to the upside. If it break to the upside, then 1980, 110 is uh, the market uh, target. USD Chief had a, a sideways week. This is the whole trading week here uh, marked on the chart. So started here and we end up uh, here. As you see, been a consolidation checking the daily after the 
break above this level there was a failure at this uh, potential area that i had on my chart and we followed that with a bearish engulfing uh, candle and uh, correction and then another bearish engulfing and um, so if we go down to the four hour we see that we have now trouble here at this level and the support was at the, the weekly pivot point a monthly or two for last uh, for uh, last week so uh, failure to break higher here could signal continuation back down to the bottom if broken a little bit further downside this market also been very uh, strong bullish market i mean after this whole leg here is pretty extended and uh, should do with the a little bit of a down correction and if we measure um, the the uh, fibonacci retracement on this leg uh, if we measure this uh, here the leg that broke out i like to measure those instead of the whole move the whole move is all the way from down here so your 618 gonna be down at this area but i like to measure the leg that breaks uh, the the major levels and um, that show us that the 38.2 is the least correction uh, we should be looking for because that would be a retest of this whole area here so uh, we will see next week if we get a retest to that area if it's gonna be a level of interest uh, and to give us some bullish evidence at this area so i will wait usd cut bearish and still um, on the weekly strongly to the downside filled this week once again and uh, the bears are still in control it is a um, on the long term it is still a bearish market there was hopes here with a couple of candles on the daily that failed to break higher and now the price is back down at the bottom so we need to find some uh, good support after that if this would be broken and as you see the next level is this swing down here or these levels down here so any break below uh, this low here that might signal continuation so keep an eye on that on the four hour time frame what we've done is this impulse then start making lower highs and then broke all the way uh, to the downside we had the same pattern happening here lower highs lower highs lower highs equal lows and then got broken all the way down so you have this here getting repeated once again now the big question how good of a support we have here uh, the move to the upside was a uh, huge so uh, it is worthwhile uh, watching this level it's gonna be a key level if uh, they fail to hold it we have uh, much uh, downside left here on um, USD CAD uh, but as first you might need to see this as a potential support at least for a correction back toward um, weekly S1 area or this previous swing here at around the 50% the retracement of this leg to the downside so uh, those are the scenarios we have on USD CAD Aussie USD checking the daily we had this uh, strong push to the downside and as far as we trading below these levels we might still look for further downside here because we have a lower high we have a lower low we have yet another lower high here so if we um, see this market keep failing to break higher the, the only way would be a continuation to the downside on uh, Aussie USD in my opinion but remember you have higher lows higher highs uh, on the uh, four hour time frame as well so that's why uh, at the start of the week you might see this trying to push back up again and then if that would be the case keep an eye on these levels here if they gonna act resistance once again then we're looking for downside if they manage to break above it then we start look for potential continuation to the upside New Zealand USD also uh, same scenario uh, on the daily this market pushed lower but the big difference here that New Zealand USD reached a key level of support on the daily time frame so you had uh, three bullish days here nice uh, push to the upside but all in all this leg here is lower high lower low yet another lower high and Friday end up with a bearish engulfing so we might uh, we might see continuation here uh, so you need to follow that on the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame if they keep to fail to make a new high continuation back down to the bottom of the range keep an eye on that 200 moving average on the four hour uh, it might uh, be a good filter yeah so we've got a retest of this broken structure keep fail to break above it 
this would mean continuation to the downside in my opinion unless we see the market breaking above previous high then we start looking for continuation to the upside so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye